Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back. Um, you can tell I'm not in my usual space, although actually my room kind of looks similar to this. Uh, I am actually at my aunt's because it's spring break. And do you want to know where I decided to go for spring break? I decided to go to a place where it just recently snowed because logic. <laughs> no, actually, I'm here to visit my family, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, I decided to make this video for a couple of tips on uh, air travel because I just recently made my first solo trip. Um, well, supposed to be three solo flights, but more to that. Uh, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of advice. For instance, always have your ID out, like your uh, driver's license, or if you're a military kid, your military ID out to show the um, if you're going overseas, your customs officer. You bring your you always have to have your passport, so that's your government issued ID, um, or just going through security. Have your ID out so you can show them with your pass, your uh, tickets. Keep that out. Also, dress comfortably. Like, wear, you should always bring a jacket, no matter what. It doesn't have to be like a nice fancy jacket of, oh, look, I'm so posh. No. Like this. Like, just as it's a regular sweatshirt. Whatever. Bring one, because you never know on the plane, it could get kind of cold. Or wherever you're at, it could get kind of cold. Um, also, chapstick because the air gets kind of dry. Well, it's like chapped to do that. Um, wear a night, you know, comfy clothes. Make sure that you have your charger near you because if you have connecting flights, sometimes you'll have a little bit of downtime. You can charge your phone, you can charge your laptop or your tablet or whatever you have. Go for it. Um, make sure you bring snacks. Yeah, because otherwise you have to buy air uh, airport food. Like, it gets kind of expensive. So, yes. Now on to what, what happened. So, my original flight plan was to fly from Richmond uh, in Virginia to Chicago um, and then over to Dubuque, Iowa. Well, the night before I was supposed to leave, that was canceled. Mind that those flights were canceled, so it's like, all right, great. And then I said, okay, well, instead we're flying you to LaGuardia in New York, then to Chicago, then to Dubuque. And I was like, you know what, from Richmond, Richmond to LaGuardia, to Chicago, to Dubuque. I was like, all right, I can, I can make that. That'll be fine. Okay. Well, got up there, my flight from Richmond to um, LaGuardia was perfectly fine. I was there on time. I was early. I got in. I was perfectly good. I was, I was all right, I can do this. LaGuardia Airport was a little confusing to uh, navigate. <laughs> I actually had to ask a pilot after a while. I was like, excuse me, sir, how on earth do I get from this terminal A, I think I was in terminal B, to terminal D? Which actually, I didn't even have the terminal on my ticket. I just heard from someone else. I'm like, oh, God, I was in, oh, this one, Rick Chicago's in, uh, I was great, cool, I'm just gonna go to that one because whew, this will work. Finally found out you had to take a shuttle. You had to go down the stairs outside, take a shuttle over to terminal C and D, and then so we got there. And found out that my flight was delayed 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes. I can do that, it's fine. I uh, got something to eat, I was good. Found out, oh, and got on the plane, we were ready to go. Oh, sorry, folks, but uh, <clears throat> we've been uh, delayed uh, about an hour. And I'm like, oh, shoot, we've been delayed an hour? Turns off, he turns off the plane. So we're all sitting in there, sitting in the plane, and going, mm -hmm, oh man, I hope I make my, you know, connecting flight, or hope my, whatever, they were okay with me being a little late. Because, woo boy. So we finally got the plane. I was texting my parents, going, um, hey, dad. <laughs> So my connecting, fl I might not make my connecting flight because, you know, this one's been delayed. I'm not really sure what to do, and I've been checking um, the thing on the airplane schedule, and that flight is okay, is okay, it's still on time. And then I saw that it was delayed. And I was like, all right, the f my connecting flight's delayed. Maybe I'll make it. Maybe I'll make it. We finally get to Chicago from LaGuardia, New York an hour and 30 minutes late, and I just barely, by the skin of my teeth, missed it. Missed my connecting flight. And I was like, all right, fine, that's okay. There's a flight at 8 p.m. to Dubuque, I can make it. 
And like, oh, sorry. Um, all flights to Dubuque and Wisconsin have been canceled. I was like, wait, what? Oh, okay. Uh, let me try to figure out how, how to do this. The only flight they had was to something springs. And I was like, oh, okay. Call my grandparents. We cannot make it there. Oh, like, uh, okay. Um, fine. I will try to do other things, try to make, figure out everything. Finally, I just talked to my aunt and she goes, you know what? You can stay with me. You stay with me. Don't you worry. So I got to hop on a bus for three and a half hours, or sorry, not three and a half hours, but roughly three hours from Chicago to Madison. Oh, dear goodness. That, so that was a whirlwind of a trip. Um, the one thing that really frustrates me, when I get like really frustrated in a stress, stressful environment, I get really frustrated, I can't, uh, I cry, <laughs> like frustrated cry. Like, I'm not crying because I'm sad or anything like that. I'm fr no, I'm frustrated and it, the crying makes me even more frustrated. So it just keeps going on. So we got it all figured out, got on the bus, made it there. I was supposed to be in Iowa at 11 a.m. a.m. or it's some 11 something yesterday. And I made it to Wisconsin instead at 8 p.m. <laughs> so, it's all right though. Uh, I went out with my aunt and got some drinks. It's good. Um, met her friends, had fun. Uh, I'm actually gonna go out to see a show tonight, so that should be fun. And yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys some tips. Don't worry, things may go wrong in flight, which is why my parents like driving. Um, and honestly, I don't blame them. <laughs> um, if something goes wrong, don't worry. There are people at the airport who will happily help you. They, you know, as long as you're nice on the phone or on in person to whoever's trying to help you with the help desk and everything like that, flight attendants, everyone will be more than happy to help you. You may not think it because you might be like me and be like, I don't really want to talk to people. No, you talk to people, they will help you. Like I said, um, I actually talked to a pilot who was like, sir, I have no idea how to get here. Will you please help me? And another pilot was like, well, I'm actually going there right now. Well, I'll escort you. And I was like, wonderful. I have an escort to take me to this place. Yeah. First time flying by myself. Several things went wrong, but it's okay in the end. Um, also, as Jenna Marble says, don't get all dressed up um, for it. If you want to, you look nice. Like, look professional. That's good. Like, um, what I'm wearing right now, this would be appropriate to go on a flight. I'm wearing my nice jeans nice shirt and nice jacket um don't get all blinged up don't i mean i was wearing this um it's kind of i guess my good luck charm it's a uh, the lord is my shepherd purse a ring and my watch all right and uh, yeah this is a clot ring yay clatter. um just don't get all dressed, don't wear all of your jewelry, blah, blah, blah. No, I was just wearing this because this is a little bit of a good luck charm in a way. <laughs> Which, I mean, you could take it that it wasn't so lucky because my flight got canceled, or not, uh, the flights that I needed to have got were canceled and my flight was delayed, oh, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I'm taking it as a good luck charm because in the end, it all worked out and that's what will happen. Don't worry, you know. It'll be fine, don't you worry. If things go wrong, they'll go wrong. Just call, just go and talk to someone to see if they can help you because they're probably, they will be more than happy to help. Um, with that, I'm going to sign off and I, I'd like to apologize for not making any uh, America What The Heck videos recently. Um, last week was my midterm week, so I was kind of more focused on studying. And I actually have a midterm when I get back. Yay. But, um, yeah. I will be making one um, soon. I don't know how long it'll take me to upload it. Depends. Um, but, yeah. So, this concludes my little airport talk. And I hope you enjoyed my ramblings on what happened. So, 
stay safe and if any of you are traveling soon please don't worry you'll be fine and uh yeah enjoy your days ciao